Hi folks, this is Claire from Arts Care. Um, today's workshop we're going to be discussing how to start an acrylic painting on a little bit of canvas or acrylic paper or cardboard, whatever you might have handy. Um, we're going to use Claude Monet as our inspiration, very famous French Impressionist painter, born 1840 and died 1926. Um, Monet um, whose 1872 painting, Impression Sunrise, which is the one in front of you here, um, was depicted, uh, which depicted um, sunlight dancing and shimmering on water with little boats and a little bit of hints of the landscape in the background. Um, the, this painting and the critics at the time, um, because this kind of work was very new, no one had seen these kind of paintings before this kind of era, um, the critics then give the um, title of the work and uh, it was very impressionistic so that the impressionist movement was born. Um, Monet felt that nature knows no black or white and nature knows no line. These beliefs resulted in the artist creating beautifully colourful and energetic pieces of work. And as a leading member of the impressionist, Monet captured the spontaneity of nature's wonderful light. He was also incredibly prolific. So today um, there are many, many pieces of artworks with museums and private collectors and his paintings are worth an absolute fortune. Light, surface colour and capturing fast fleeting moments were what Impressionism was all about. And um, so we're just going to quickly go over some of the basics just about um, acrylic paint and also um, mixing colour. And then in the second part of this workshop, which will be a separate video, we'll start to do the bases of the painting. And then we might need a third video again just to kind of add on to that. But we'll see how we get on. So that was Impression Sunrise. Um, this is uh, one um, of many, many paintings that Monet created of water lilies. He had a beautiful house in France, uh, Giverney, which he spent a lot of money and, and landscaped and got it looking absolutely amazing and had these uh, like small lakes with water lilies and all kinds of flower beds and absolutely brimming with colour and light and he painted and repainted and repainted these scenes at Giverney over the years to really capture light, how it moves throughout the day and how it um, changes with the seasons and um, just completely focusing on that subject matter for many, many years. Um, so this, I've chosen this image as I thought it might be a nice starting point for people who don't feel very confident maybe drawing buildings or anything architectural, that this is quite a soft image. So even if you don't get it quite right, it doesn't really matter. You know, we're, the, the basis of this workshop is really by playing with acrylic paint and mixing some colour. Okay, now this is our basic colour wheel. You might have gone over this in school or you might know this anyway, but if you don't, there are three primary colours. You've got your red, your yellow and your blue. And from those three primary colours, the basis of all other colours can then be created. And then you can add white and in very, very, very small doses, you can add a little bit of black here and there, you know, just if you need to really darken something down. But you want to try and get the majority of your colours within that um, primary colour mixing. Now paints that you can get these days already have other uh, um, secondary colours and stuff in tubes. And um, I'm working, I'm just working with a really, really basic little set of sort of student acrylics. I didn't want to use expensive acrylics. I want to show you that you can do this just using the basics um, and little basic paint brushes like nothing fancy. And you can either do it on paper, on card, or if you have a little canvas, um, you can do it on that as well. Now this is just the colour wheel kind of slightly more um, brought out. So they're starting to mix the other colours in with them as well. So you can see how you can just go, you know, from your three primaries, your blue, your red, your yellow, and then from this, the whole colour family starts to evolve from that. So I would say if you are using paints and acrylics for the first time, that you would maybe spend a wee bit of time, maybe just get a little bit of rough paper or card or something like that and play around with the colour mixing itself. So again, so this is on sort of the cool colours and these are your warmer colours. And so um, this was from this little basic set of acrylics. I'm sorry, I have a big splodge of white in there. That's because I had a bit of an accident pouring it out. But anyway, you tend to use a lot of white as well when you are working with acrylic paints. But just to show you again, just briefly. So here we've got our blues, we've got red here and we've got yellow. So from 
the blue and the yellow here, I was able to mix a little bit of green. Then I added white here to create lemon. And then I added white here to create a really, really light green. I've added a little bit of white over here to create a light blue from this um, primary blue. Then over here, I've added the yellow to the red. And to the right, I've created like a sort of orange color. And then I've added a little bit of white to lighten that up. And added a little bit of white again to lighten it up. The red, I've added white to, to create a pink. And then red and blue make a kind of purpley color. So I actually added a little bit of the light blue and the light sort of this dark pink together below and that created like a sort of a lilac color and I've added a bit more white to create that. So you can just see from that where we're going. And so I would suggest for part of this, part one of this workshop that you get your colors, you look at the color chart and you maybe spend, I don't know, half an hour, an hour, whatever, and have a play and see what colors that you can mix from the primary colors. And then if you do have a little set of paints and you've got a few of the other color ranges in there, then have a wee go and just have a wee look um, what you can do and the colors you can mix. And in part two, we'll show you how to start the painting. Okay, thank you.